Hi. Hello. We just uh, were invited to a special screening of the mm. vaccine war in London and Anvika cool. sweetly accompanied me to the <laughs> film and we just wanted to share our thoughts about the movie mm-hmm. uh, which is 2 hours 41 minutes long. Yep. Uh, has Nana Patekar as the lead scientist of ICMR who's building the vaccine called Covaxin which was developed with Bharat Biotech in reality so obviously a fictionalized heavily fictionalized account of the reality of India's development of the vaccine uh, so Nana Patekar is the head and there's a whole gaggle of uh, uh, the female scientists I mean in reality apparently 75 70% of ICMR and NIV scientists are women yeah. so that's reflected in the film as well with Pallavi Joshi uh, leading the, that group uh, there's uh, Nivedita Bhattacharya there's Girija Oak and Saptami Gauda who you may know remember from Kantara mm. uh, there's also an unrecognizable Mohan Kapoor uh, as one of the other scientists and finally Raima Sen uh, plays the anti india journalist from uh, the daily wire from a fictional yeah. uh, site called the daily wire uh, and am i missing anybody else i don't think so i'm missing anupam kher who does a cameo ah, yes. as the cabinet minister that is true now what did you think uh honestly i'm quite glad i went overall it was a really fun experience i would say there is a vibe of it being a little bit more intimate as a movie like it's not like perfectly professionally made but it do, it is still have the vibe of a movie and it still you know captures you in that sense has a fun storyline about the whole thing they've created some sort of a emotional very bharat mahan kind of storyline around it which is which was nice some good moments some very dramatic um i really liked the way that they showed the women side of things i thought in a some somewhat subtle but very realistic way again and it felt attainable like there was a lot of things about like the way that they were dressed up something about lipstick um that how they it was so awkward, yeah. abrupt but yeah. you know how they're still expected to deal with the condescension of the boss while still dealing with making a vaccine all of these things i thought very well shown fun and funny moments some very genuinely funny moments so it it is a propaganda film yeah. i think as anvika pointed out there are uh, moments where uh, it just i mean it's like it looks like amateurish in moments yeah um so many shots of corridors so many oh shots God, of yeah. outside the office yeah. so many sh- i mean it's just uh, fine Uh, the tendency to break out into very patriotic soundtrack at mm-hmm. the drop of a hat even when for example a decision is taken to make the vaccine it's like sare jahan se acha is going to play yeah. in the background and things like that uh however despite it being clearly with an agenda and i'll come to that part of it later it's an interesting watch yeah it would have been a far better film if they had stuck to a 2 hour kind of a timeline I it did feel uh, like it, it was dragging on. It just dragged, dragged. I mean, there's it's it's got twelve chapters. Yeah, it, I, I feel like if you're going for a chapter kind of a story, you go for something that's a bit. It breaks it up a little bit into smaller, digestible pieces. If you have twelve chapters, I barely remember yeah. six of them. So, and then I, there are several. I think you have to choose whether you're going to stay with politics or you're going to stay with science. Here, I felt everything got jumbled up. I think that was one of the points where they were talking about it like how science did become political or some 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 So here it it does get jumbled yeah. up there's a finger of suspicion I mean more than a finger of suspicion at China throughout which yeah. according to me for scientists shouldn't really matter no. you've got to tackle a, a a virus you've got to tackle the virus regardless of how and where it came from in a sense but here that's there constantly uh, as a kind of a background similar the to the soundtrack yeah. for example uh as i mentioned the sare jahan se acha kind of a thing vibe going which i mean i get irritated even in movies like uh, armageddon for example <laughs> when they it's like the whole america thing yeah. and i found that irritating here too uh the soundtrack when whenever the virus is being shown in any way or form even through the microscope there's that heavy breathing kind I of a thing which found that found a little grating yeah also i have to point out this is 
a film that is not an easy watch because I can't think that there would be anyone associated with India who didn't lose someone yes. during the horrible months of either the lockdown, the first lot, or in the second year. Lots of questions to the government that the government has frankly never answered mm. uh, as to why did they take so long to order the vaccine? Why yeah. did they declare a, a early victory and start doing uh, various events and elections and you know religious events etc. In, in March which led to the chaos and the anarchy and the huge number of deaths India suffered in, in April. Yep. But I'm saying keeping those things alike aside, there was a success story to be shared. Yes. Now, I felt though they brushed a lot of things under the carpet. So, 100%. in the end, when they are describing all the various achievements, um, I think they conveniently group Covishield and Covaxin together. Yeah. And yeah, therefore, yeah, yeah. a lot of the stats that they rolled that they did were kind of clubbed together. Whereas yeah. Covaxin is a totally different development to Covishield, which was developed with Serum Institute of India and AstraZeneca together mm -hmm. in India, but it's a yeah. different development. Yeah. Uh, they conveniently club all of that so together. I think, and the government's yeah. achievements in having such a vast uh, rollout of vac vaccines does deserve credit. But questions, like I said, about why it took so long. That's I, saw, it. I think my overall thing, like Dad said, there are a lot of things that it didn't get perfectly right. A lot of things that aren't backed up. And ultimately, it's one of those movies where it was a bunch of Desi people in a room going like, hmm, yeah. or ha. Huh. And it's a very feel-good <laughs> kind of movie in the, that sense where you'll have uncles being like, say yeah. So it was nice in that way. I, I liked, I thought some conversations, for example, about, like you said, China and the vaccine coming from places and the freedom of speech element lacked a lot more nuance. You need, you can't bring that into it. But I also thought um, that it was ultimately just nice to see just the women literally get their flowers, so to speak. It, it's a nice, nice watch. So finally, a lot, of, yeah. a lot of interesting, in terms of performances, did anything strike you? I quite liked um, the... The lady who was in charge of making the vaccine, who well, yeah, yeah, she she was really good. I thought, I, yeah. I thought when and she that little had element, that quirk that she had of the South Indian accent, yes, with the oh, mixing up I'm of genders, gay. I and loved all it, that I was, loved was it. Nice, um, yeah. And I liked, you know, there were moments where after every single time a woman cried, she would say sorry, which just in, for me just showed like just a little realistic element of how they're told to be a bit more practical, but they're still emotional and they're still doing all these things. And I thought that was. Perfect. I thought Nana Particle was very good, really good as the boss really, and really good. in the final sequence you realize why they had chosen him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise still then he was, it was just this. Yeah. And I thought all the other, the Nivedetha, Girija, Saptani really did a, a really Everybody nice job. Uh, Mohan Kapoor's role I think could have been fleshed out more. Raima, the journalist, was yeah very, very interesting, interesting right? very interesting. In terms I, of her portrayal. Very, I, again, dramatized definitely. Yeah. but. Fun, fun character, interesting to watch. She had a lot of facial expressions going on at any time, so it was really nice. I thought, True. well done. Uh, yeah. So yeah, at the Good. count of three, your rating Ooh. for the movie. Okay. And give me a second. One, two, three. Uh, is that a seven? That's a seven. Seven. I'm six. And because seven. I'm seven. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'd love to know what you think. Thank yes. you so much. See you. Bye -bye.